What up? Coming to you live from the inside lot of Duncan Imports. So this place is insane. They have three separate bays. I would say the one I'm in right now has most of like the American cars, like some of the American classics. There's some little JDMs here and there, more towards the back. But for the most part, it's a lot of like Ford, Chevy, stuff like that. So that's what you're going to see in today's video. I'm going to try to walk around and do the best I can showing and explaining but i don't know what 90 percent of these cars are to be honest like this is i couldn't tell you there's no badge no idea but as someone that appreciates cars i would do anything to own this to own this little peach whatever it is it's a victoria crown victoria i feel like i heard of that in the movies but this thing is cool they got a crx si some cars over here drop top ford Sullender, Aunt B's car. I don't know who Aunt B is. Who's Aunt B? Not yet proven to this rumor, to the car from the show. But if you guys remember this show, this car allegedly was in it, which is pretty cool. Pretty famous car. Then they have a Ford. I'm gonna say Model T, but I don't really know. They have one of these bad boys. Ninety thousand. Wow. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think it's worth it, but wow. Oof. I didn't even realize that that was empty. Wow. 90 Rackaroos. How much is this one? Wow, it's only 13. What the hell? I paid more for my caveman. Wow, you could buy one of these for that little? Always thought all these cars were like 50, 60,000. I mean, it probably goes like 20 miles per hour, but. Still, just to own like a time capsule, that's cheap. That's really cheap. What else we got? I don't want to miss anything. Love that. I don't know what it is, but I love the color. This is a Datsun. I know what this is. Pretty cool. Couple Nissans, some more Datsuns. Oh wow, they have so many Sarahs. I didn't even see this one last time I was here. I wonder if they have any manual ones. They have this. These go for crazy money now. These go for, I think, some money too. What is it, like a Spitfire? Starfire? Sky? Something like that. Yeah, Sky. I thought it was something fire. But they got a black on black FD that I really like. This thing is so huge, but we'll get over there when we get over there. They got a Viper. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They have a Triumph Spider. Toyota V6 pickup. They got some Dodge. These Porsches are... I wonder how much this costs. Whoa, well, let's go with that hood. What's that about? Wow. This is jet fuel only. This is jet fuel, I guess. Wow, I was... So, I don't even know what to say. I know Boeing is a plane company, so... This is crazy. I don't even know what to say. I was going to say how much it costs, but now... I know it's definitely not for sale. <laughs> That's insane. Um, some Datsuns, some more pickup trucks, some more pickups. What are these called? This is a Toyota. Well, it doesn't say. Damn, just comment below what these are called. There's a lot of them though. I don't know what they're called. They're cool, I like them. They're like a Ford Ranger, but Toyota version. They have this Alpina um, BMW. I was looking at this earlier. Any of the Euro guys watching this, it's a Alpina B6 2.8. Cool little daddy wagon. They got some other wagons over here. It's crazy how big these cars used to be. Like literally almost 2K cars is the size of that. If you have two small K cars. They have the Subaru. I don't know anything about it, but look at that logo. Why did they ever go away from that? Ford. What's this? This looks cool. It looks like a Bronca. Two door. Trooper. Like that interior. Clean. A lot of the cars here really aren't for sale. It really is a museum. Like, I don't think that, like, several ones with no prices and no papers. Like that Jet one, there's no way that that Porsche is for sale. But some of the other ones, like this one is 59000 This Oldsmobile 442. Some of them are for sale. Like they have all those um, AZ ones and I believe only one of them is on the website, which is kind of crazy. 
I know this is a Nissan, right? Oh, Volkswagen, I was wrong. Diesel, wow, it's crazy. Look at this engine bay. Let me see what's over here. Did I miss anything? No, these are Maximas. But yeah, I didn't miss anything. This is cool though, whatever this is, two door. White on white with the white wheels. White walls. This is, a, it looks like it says Rumble. Has R's everywhere though, R's. American. What is this actually? Let me, let me, let me not guess. American. It doesn't say. R. Rambler. Okay. Oh, suitcase in the back. That's cool. Volkswagen. This is an old Porsche. This is a Montero. Don't know why it's covered. Probably has low kilometers. This Volkswagen's cool. Seeing cars like this with no tint is very special. It makes me not want to put tint on some of my cars because it just makes it like more lively. It's already like a weird color in a weird car, but when you could just see through it, it just gives it a little jazz in my opinion. You got a Supra, this Honda. I love the old Honda logos. Again, I don't know what happened where these manufacturers changed all their logos, but Stuff like this needs to come back. Wow, look at this logo, whoa. Come on. This guy there. This is the S2000 before the S2000, Honda peeps. Look at this Subaru logo. I'm drooling over the logos more than the cars. Look at this. Look at this Ford logo. Imagine pulling up with that. Like you were the guy if you had this. 1953 F100. Little American K truck action. Wow. What is this? Is it a convertible? No. What is car is this? Subaru XT6. This is a. What is the Prelude? Acura Legend? Wow, this is $36,000. This is Legend. Delica. This thing's cool. Lifted. Looks like. This Delica is smaller than this pickup truck. It's smaller than most of these cars. Like, look how much room it has. It's smaller than almost all of these cars. And it's bigger. It's taller. Fits more people. It's just crazy. These are cool. The seats are nice. They got a bunch of S2Ks. These are soon going to be right-hand drive. Oh, wow, this one has New York um, inspection. Whoever had this car in New York. Love the red interior. Love the burgundy interior on this guy turbo on the seats very very nice over here what do we got Alfa Romeo Spider. let me walk over here actually because I know I missed some stuff these are Mitsubishi with the Jeep kit on them very cool to see last time I was here I was very clueless but now that I'm a little more knowledgeable Mitsubishi, they bought the rights to Jeep, something like that after the war, something like that, and they just did something. I don't know. Guess I'm not that knowledgeable. Bunch of vets. Ooh, this looks like a great Gatsby car. Seventy-nine thou. Wow. Manual. It's a 190 SL. I wonder if this is where you put gas. It looks like it. That looks so dangerous. Can you take off the hard top? Or is it, it looks like this could probably take it off. Yeah, this is cool. This is something I can appreciate. Those two. The vets are cool too, but I mean, I like the lights. But that bends. These are Soras. They got five of them. They got this weird thing. It has a BMW sticker on it. It is a... It's a four speed. Look at that shifter. This thing is nice. What is, tell me more about it. It is a 1957 BMW S the 300. Rotisserie, restoration. Well, not, I don't think it's for sale, but I wonder how much it costs. They got this Honda Vamos. Couple of little bikes here. This Nissan March is really cool. They got a Del Sol with the removable top. Manual. 
they have this. What the hell is this? Alright, that doesn't help. Left hand drive. It is a powered by Ford, but it can't be a Ford, right? It's a... Uh, that. It's a that Roadster. This is cool. I wonder how much this costs. Titamos Pantera. Oof. Gated shifter. They got a Mitsuyoka Butte. Datsun. Wow, look at this. Oh my goodness. I wonder if they got this in the Philippines or the person who owned it was Filipino. Wow. What is this? A Datsun 510. I gotta send this to my cousin John. He's always talking about he wants to buy a 510. Wow. I've never even seen a... I've never even seen a... I've never even seen a 510 before. Are those Recaros? What are those? And our G seats. This is cool. I know what it is. This is... This can't be a Honda, though. American Honda Motor Company. But it's a Chevy. And the hood is freaking ginormous. This is a Nismo. What is this guy? Oh wow, look at the rims. It actually has some nice like fib into it. I don't think I'll be able to see the V8E. Yeah, I don't know what this is. It's cool though. Oh, it's a President. Nissan Presidente. They got a couple of Toyota Classics. These are cool. They kind of look like Bentleys. They got this. I think this is probably one of the coolest sentries. Everybody's like, I want a sentry, I want a sentry. But I want a sentry that has this little third door right here. It's not a door, but this little extended cab. Because you can see inside it has like its own air vents, has a glass. But like I've said several times before, if you buy a sentry and you're driving it, to me, that's like defeats the whole purpose. Like it's like buying a Bentley or a Maybach and you driving it. The point is for someone to drive you. So that doesn't make any sense, but these little extended sentries, fire. This is a Yunos badge. I'm only familiar with a Yunos roaster. But Yunos is basically, I wonder if this is rotary power because that's a triangle. But Yunos was Mazda's attempt to make high-end cars. So this is a Yunos Cosmo. I'd be cool if this was um, rotary. That steering wheel is very interesting. But yeah, look at all the luxury and stuff. This was Mazda's like, luxury brand this is cool let's walk over to the next bay so this bay mostly has k cars i made a whole separate video on this if you want to watch it click the corner but there's a bunch of like suzuki's honda today's some k trucks the Hatsumiras. they got the, all the abc cars az1 b cappuccino smart cars they got some nsx and honda lights back there but if you want to watch that click the corner we're gonna head over there i haven't even been there yet i can't imagine what this was used for back in the day it looks like a golf cart or something but let's walk up the ramp we got a clean samurai shout out jimny gang drop top beetle toyota classic they actually got a lot of these i feel like last time i was here i only saw one but they got a bunch and then they have a Daihatsu Lisa Spider Turbo Fuel Injected K-Car. This only continues to back my comments by saying that Daihatsu was one of the coolest brands because I've never heard of a Daihatsu Spider Lisa. I'm assuming Spider means drop top, so it's probably just called a Lisa, but it's turbo fuel injected K-Car. I wonder if it's 550 or 660cc. This thing's cool. Maybe I should get something like that and be like the only person with one. Let's check out what they have here. They got a Porsche. This is a V8. What the hell? V8 in this little ass car? Powered by Ford. What is this? I don't know. Looks like it says Tiger. It's a Sunbeam. I don't know. This Honda though? This Honda though? This Honda GTV hardtop though? And it's manual? golly it's on like 10 inch rims this is i'm assuming is this a k car it looks like a k car wow this is fire love that color they got some porsches last time i was here i saw this thing this is crazy to see i think it has shaved handles too right 
Yeah, shaved handles. Wow, somebody messed it up. I should clean that. But somebody in Japan was crushing it with this. It's 25000 I'm not sure if this motor is special or not, but it's definitely clean. What else we got? What else we got? This is only 10000 Seeing stuff in the under 10 is very rare here, so that's kind of cool. Don't know what car that is, though. Oh, man. Look at that dent. Got some other cars. I guess this is more of the American classic. Like, look at all these front ends. I wasn't sure what I was going to see here. Look at this Civic. Honda Matic. That's funny. That should be a slogan nowadays. Automatic Civic from 1977. Ooh, another Civic. C oh, Accord, actually. That's an Accord. CVCC. This interior is beautiful. Gosh, I don't even want to touch it. It's so nice. Look at this pink thing. I got to walk over there. 240Z. This is a Toyota something. Oh, wow. Is this a... No, I was going to say, is this a city? Honda mirrors. Look at the Honda center cap. Very cool. Camry. But who was whipping this? 1976 Continental. Somebody was pimping in this bad boy. Look at the attention to detail. Wow. I would love to know what this is sold for or whatever it's going to be sold for. If it's just going to be a collector car. This Honda's cool. Looks like an Accord if I had to guess. Looks a little bigger than a Civic. Am I right? It's a Prelude. Wow, I was super wrong. Pretty cool. GTO. I don't even know. I'm going to stop guessing the Hondas. I don't even have a Civic, I guess. Accord. <laughs> it's an Accord. This thing's cool, though. It has a clock. It has some features in there. This is a... It's right-hand drive. It's a Civic. It's four-wheel drive, I'm assuming, too. Yeah, these are four-wheel drive. I know people go crazy for these. Wow, it's manual, too. Oh, that's a six-speed. It has ultra-low. That's nice. Wow, this has ultra-low. Really think about that. Honda Civic Shuttle. RTI. Wow, ultra low. This must be used in like different countries and like, you know, DR and stuff where they need stuff like that. But that's crazy. This is beautiful. 49 G's. I don't know who that is, but wow. We got some of these bad boys. Dodson. Dodson 710. This is a Mustang. Look at these seats. Look at the horses. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. Nice little convertible. Got a Supra here. This is an interesting Ford. It's an EXP. I like the front end a lot. Red seats are cool too, but that front end. Love that. These are cool. Um, some Audis. Cresta. Legend. There's a couple of TTs in here. I don't. What are they low mileage? Like what's? Why is this here? Twenty-seven thousand miles. It's manual. I don't really know much about TTs, but I mean, I'm kind of a Audi fanboy of this era, I like the B5, um, S4s, and stuff like that. Classic Evo. No wing. Wow. 2003 first year very stockish even this audi like just looks like it's audi i remember seeing this miata a bunch of times i think it has very very low miles Ooh, yellow nsx wow look at this right here wow 97 left hand drive nsx Oof, one day. This thing's cool. This is a CL Acura. I don't even know. Why is that here? That's that low miles. Yeah, 17,000 miles. But still, though, like, who's coming here looking for this? Crazy. Datsun 280. Another Datsun. Arc 7. Arc 7. 
This Miata, I believe, last time I looked, has really low miles too. Yeah, it's 13,000. It's cool. What's this? Merker XR4TI. Manual. Never even heard of that brand. Merker. Got a Benz, another TT. This one has red seats though. Probably low mileage. I wanted one of these badly. As a Miata fanboy, I was really gonna get one. And it snows a lot in New York, so I was like, ooh, Quattro. But I just never ran and got it. I kept buying Miatas and driving those in the snow. <laughs> Bunch of Datsuns, Fair Lady Z, Honda Accord, Del Sol. This is a Toyota Corolla? Cor Corona. I like when some of the cars still have like the old license plate. Like that's a very old California license plate. And this says Toyota Corona. I've never heard of that. I heard of Corolla and Camry. But this is a Corona for 19,000. They got a bunch of fair. This whole line is like 300ZXs and 240Zs. That's crazy. Look at the louvers on this. Yeah, they got a bunch of these. He's definitely a fan of these cars because there's a lot of them outside too. What else we got? What else we got? Let me look at this cool green Datsun. Oh, come on. Why is that broom there? This is another 510. Oh, these are cool. These are hard top convertibles. Yeah, I wanted one of these too. Yeah, I, I, I kind of understand why this is here to a stand, but a Mazda MX-6? I don't know. I don't really know, Duncan. What are you doing? Cool Porsche, another Z. This is a, if that's a Datsun, that logo is fire. Yeah, it is. Datsun B210. Ooh, my goodness. I have never seen an MR2 look like this. Wow, this look at this green. It's like you gotta walk closer to it for it to change colors. If this is a factory paint job, Toyota, you are killing it. I like the brown top, too. It's a little, like, beef and broccoli look. Wow, that green is beautiful. And the camera's picking it up. Black one right there. I feel like nobody likes those MR2s, though. A couple Beetles. I'm actually going to show you guys another Beetle before this video ends. Because <laughs> I have to show it as much time as possible because it's insane. But these are cool. 40,000. I mean, I guess that's a good price. If the freaking Figueros are 40,000, why can't these be 40,000? This one says restored, so let's look at it. That's cool. BMW 7 Series 733. What an odd number. Not 735, 740, 730, even 33. These Volkswagens are cool. I feel like I saw one of these at one of the meets I was at recently. Love the rainbow. More fur ladies. Integra. More cool Volkswagens. What are these? Look at the seats. Look at the windows. They only slide. Manual. Speakers back there. They got some of the buses. We'll see that on the other side. I'm assuming these, I would say these are K-Truck rims, but I don't know if they move. I guess they do. Yeah, these are K-Truck rims. These are cool. 23 by eight, 12s. Nice beefy joints. This looks like a cool car. What is this? I don't know. Mazda wagon. The rims are throwing me off. It's a very chromey. But look at the V dub buses. This one got a canopy. I just wish that I could live in the 1970s and go on a road trip with my family in one of these. University of San Francisco, that just makes it cooler. Santa Clara. Just drive through the freaking Grand Canyon or something. <laughs> this pickup bed is so ridiculous. It's not even deep either. Look, look how tall this car is. 
And the pickup bed is only from here to here. It's like the size of my hand. That's funny. But yeah, I think this is it. I'm going to show you guys this VW, yellow brakes. I'm going to show you guys this VW, and I'll end it here. Head to my next stop. This Alpina, what is this guy? I think it's too close for me to tell. Whatever that says. I know the camera picked it up, but I couldn't. But this thing is cool. Let me show you guys this V-Dub. And then we'll get out of here. Duncan Imports, always cool people. I love that they're able to let me just walk around. I'm being respectful and not opening any of the cars, although I want to. I want to sit in them and do all that stuff. But if they're cool enough to let you just walk around with no supervision, respect the cars, respect the people. So I'm going to end it here. So this looks like your typical Volkswagen punch buggy, no punch backs. Are you kidding me? Are you joking me? Am I a joke to you? What is this? Who did this? Where do I get one? And to make it even better, yep, it's manual. That's insane. All this stuff is in my other video. I'm going to end this here. Rotary powered Samurai, s -cart goes, NSX, Cobras. And yeah, cool video. Hopefully you watched the whole series. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Road to 10K subs. Once I get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a free K car giveaway. So hopefully that happens sooner than later. But wow, Duncan Imports from the crazy BMW to the nice March to the city with the Moto Compo to the jet powered Porsche. This place is amazing. Peace out. Remember the name. This is way before the fame.